Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to talk about a stalwart in the color correction and exposure adjustments category, which is levels. The levels adjustment is an easy to use adjustment that allows you to adjust brightness and contrast and exposure at the same time. Now, you will find adjustments of those same names inside of Photoshop, but levels is a really easy way to make tweaks. You can go after the shadows and the highlights and really adjust the midtones at the same time using three control points. We're going to make this adjustment non destructively with adjustment layers, but it's also available as a normal image adjustment. Let's see how. So we've got our first photo here, and it suffers from some fairly typical problems, which is it's a subject shot against a pretty bright sky. So I'm going to add an adjustment layer for levels. In Photoshop CS4, you'll find it in the Adjustments panel. Otherwise, you could choose Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels. When you do that, you get the controls. And you see here we've got this big spike right in the middle where there's a lot of information. But the shadows are pretty repressed and the highlights are just absolutely gone. If we pull this white slider in, you'll see that the clouds are going to move more towards white. And that's good. We now have a nice crisp value there for the white clouds. If I pull the black slider in, you'll see that the shadows get a little more intense and it takes areas that used to be a dark gray and forces them to a pure black. Now, that works great, but the key here is the middle slider for the midtones or neutral gray. Let's go ahead and pull that, and you see as we start to drag, the midtones are modified. So if I pull that to the left, it makes the middle a little bit brighter. And that's done a nice job. Here was the original, here was the new image. We now have crisper blacks, brighter whites, and a little bit easier to see in the midtones, creating some great separation. Let's go ahead and just finish this image off. I'm going to grab C for crop, and we're going to crop this image. Let's go to a 7 inch by 5 inch print, 7 in by 5 I in at 200 pixels per inch. And I'm just going to crop that out. There we go. And let's take those birds there. Click the return key, and it applies it. And I'm much happier with that photo compared to the original. Now, let's try this one more time with a different image. This time, we'll make an adjustment layer, but we're going to limit its effects to only part of our image. I'm going to switch here to another photo, and you can use your own photo, or if you've got the book Understanding Adobe Photoshop CS4, you can actually download these images to use as well. Here we have a picture, and I really want this flower in the foreground to be easier to see. However, I don't want to affect this part over here which is fairly well exposed. There's a very narrow depth of field here, so our background is really out of focus. Let's add an adjustment layer for levels and pull the white slider in. And notice as we do that how our whites go more pure. The only drawback to that is that these overexposed areas now are really blooming. But don't worry, we can easily fix that in just a minute. I am now going to pull the blacks in just a bit. They're fairly well exposed there, and I like how the blacks are nice and crisp there in the shadows. Let's adjust the middle slider and open it up so the leaves are just a little brighter, and that looks great. What we haven't touched, though, are the output levels. Input levels let us adjust what's coming in so we could affect how the blacks and whites and midtones look in the image. Output levels are going to set a clamp for what values actually go out of Photoshop. So in this case, I'm going to lower the output value of the white so it's not quite as pure. So the purest white has still got a little bit of gray in it. That looks pretty good, but what I want to do is have this part of the picture be ignored. Well, you'll notice there's a layer mask attached to that levels adjustment. So if we were to paint on this mask, it would actually ignore the areas that are black. But instead of painting with a paintbrush, I'm going to use the gradient. I'll press G for gradient and just make sure to pick a default black to white gradient and then come in here in the image, click in the middle of that area and drag. And what you see it did is it applied a gradual mask to that image. So this part of the image, this left third, is ignored with a gradual blend between what's processed and what's not. 
you see there that only the right two-thirds of the image are actually being affected by the adjustment layer. And that's a truly effective adjustment. The levels adjustment is going to be a standard adjustment that you will get quite comfortable with. In fact, I find myself using levels adjustments about 90% of the time in most of my photos. There's a lot of cool things you could do when developing the image with Camera Raw, but levels works great once you have the image opened into Photoshop. Be sure to join us next week when we take a look at levels again, but this time we're going to actually use it as a color correction tool. My name is Rich Harrington. I appreciate you checking out our show. And of course, take a look over at rastervector.com for all sorts of great resources about Adobe Photoshop and digital imaging. Thanks for joining us.